Jerry Vickers here, Vickers Tactical YouTube channel, and I've got a Cold War classic for you, the Czech made VZ-58. This is the 762 by 39 assault rifle that Czechoslovakia fielded as a member of Warsaw Pact in lieu of the Kalashnikov during the Cold War. Now it's a homegrown weapon. The Czechs have a long history of developing superbly manufactured and designed small arms, and this is no exception. Fairly light gun, right around six and a half pounds. 15 and a half inch barrel. Like I said, 762 by 39 caliber, same as the AK. However, no parts interchange between the two, despite the fact the weapon has a strong resemblance to the Kalashnikov. A couple interesting features about it. It's striker fired, all right? Essentially, a striker's held to the rear instead of a hammer, and when you release the trigger, the striker's released, hitting the firing pin and firing the cartridge. Because of that, like many striker fired long guns, it has a pretty damn good trigger pull. Bolt hold open device, unlike an AK. Your selector switch is on this side, very different than an AK with safe, semi, and fully automatic. Route 800 rounds per minute, fully automatic fire. 30 round detachable box magazine. This particular one is the side folding variant. It's very easily switched to the fixed stock variant. Unlike an AK where the side folder or under folder is a dedicated variant and you cannot switch between that and a fixed stock. Now, there's a lot of these in the United States. A lot of parts kits came in, also semi-automatic versions. Very soft shooting, particularly for a six and a half pound weapon in 762 by 39, due to the dropping block locking mechanism adapted from the P38. Like all P38 inspired weaponry, it's very soft on recoil. I'm fixing to light this up for you, LAV style, for your enjoyment. Stay tuned.